Welcome to In the Den with Dr. Jen, an open-minded and celebratory place for females to explore sexuality in a comprehensive manner and start thinking about female sexuality outside the box. You know what we're in the den celebrating today? My birthday! Ah! I love reasons to celebrate, have fun, and just be excited about life. So we're appreciating that today on the show. Although, I have to say, I know I'm not the only person out there, particularly women, who kind of freak out sometimes at the thought of aging. And I hate to fall into the pattern of mainstream thinking and forced by marketing and advertising to be upset that I'm aging. I mean, I have no choice. But why do I feel so discouraged? I mean, geez, I could just really use some spiritual guidance here. Hey, big Jesus, you're back. Hey, Dr. J, happy birthday. I love that you're celebrating life on your show today. Yeah, but I'm feeling a little discouraged too. I mean, all the media and advertising put so much emphasis on being young and beautiful and that we should fight aging with all our time, money, and energy. Oh, I totally understand your distress. Marketers play into those insecurities and try to make you feel inadequate. But my dad says they'll all burn in hell, so that's cool. <laughs> I know better. The messages everywhere are so strong, and I think I've kind of internalized them. Oh, DJ, I feel your pain. But, sweetheart, you know how fabulous it is for women to age and come into their own sexual power. You haven't even hit your peak yet. There's a divine plan that women gain confidence and self love as they age, and their sexual knowledge and ability to respond to sexuality match with this. Trust, girlfriend. Trust that it's only going to get better as you explore and learn more about your erotic potential. Ooh, my erotic potential. I like the sound of that. There's so much wisdom that you're gaining with time and experience. You know yourself better, listen to your inner wisdom, and you build a thicker and thicker skin to filter out what quote unquote others say or think that just insult your soul, and you know doesn't speak to your true contribution or purpose. God, I'm so glad you stopped by for my birthday. Any other pearls to add to my necklace today? Oh, he heard you. Uh, yes, yeah, sweet thing. Each day, learn what it means for you to be more alive. What does that look like? How does it feel? What's your possibility of erotic potential to stand in? Your erotic potential, your life force, your creativity, they're all vital to your self-growth and joy in life. You rock, Pink Jesus. I can't wait to use my birthday to explore my erotic potential. Sexual fun fact number 309. How old is Dr. Jen? Okay, and this is multiple choice for you. I am A, 27, B, 32, C, 35, D, 38. The answer? Giggity, giggity. The Den recommend. I am recommending the book called Sex, Death, and Enlightenment, A True Story by Mark Matuzic. This may be an odd recommendation for a birthday episode, but I love this book. And if you're curious, one of my favorite gifts is an Amazon.com gift card so I can easily buy books on a whim. Now, I was led to this book through the V-Day website because Eve Ensler, the playwright for the Vagina Monologues, is friends with the author. Now, a few sessions back, I recommended the book Eat, Pray, Love. And this actually reminded me of that book. And beyond just the similarity of a three-word title, it's also a true story about an individual with a lot of pain and suffering and baggage who goes on a spiritual journey, both geographically and mentally emotionally, in their work, relationships, and sex life. Now, this author, his childhood was heart-wrenching. And the backdrop for this true story is the mid-80s, where Mark finds himself in a soul-defeating media job and at the start of the AIDS crisis in New York City. I was personally thrilled with his willingness and ability to articulate the depth of the process of his personal transformation from protected 
blocked and using sex to very open-minded, loving, and embracing life. His quest for spiritual enlightenment and self-therapy can be beneficial to all of us, and I applaud his vulnerability to reveal such character flaws and disturbing choices and experiences. And the title says it all, Sex, Death, and Enlightenment. But I may add to that strength, clarity, and love. Clever, sensual birthday gifts. Do you have someone out there with a birthday coming up and you want to offer them a unique and sensual gift? Here's a few ideas based on my personal preferences. First, costumes and fun accessories. Okay, I realize that probably not everyone enjoys costumes and props as much as I do, but I'm always amazed at workshops, parties, or even here in the den, how much fun people have getting dressed up and giving themselves permission to act outside the box. And I'm talking about men and women. Second, a treasure hunt with clues. Now, as a kid, we called this game time. Write up clues that lead to a present and the next clue. Be creative with the clues. Make references to things only you and the other person would know. Write backwards so they have to hold it up to a mirror to read it. And have the presents build in excitement. The clues could be a treasure hunt around your home or around your city. Third, how about going someplace completely silly and unexpected, like Chuck E. Cheese's? Wear your costumes and props from number one, and then play skee ball and eat pizza and dance around with the big mouse. And fourth, and this is a particularly sensual and seducing one, set up different stations around your home to represent a devotion to one of the senses. In one corner, blindfold the other person, and have specific pieces of music ready to create a certain mood and connection. In another area, set up various textures and tactile things to stimulate touch. As well, you can use a feather on their body or give them a foot massage. <laughs> to appeal to their sight, perform a strip tease or have photos to reminisce about. And then have other two areas dedicated to taste, and there's so many options there, and also smell. This is all about the other person and their nurturing and being present to just enjoy the moment. <gasps> Find the gorilla for your first birthday clue. <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> nice. Visit me at drjensden.com or zipzaptoys.com or email me at jennifer at drjensden.com. And if you're a woman or a couple who wants to take your passion and communication to the next level, Send me an email so we can create a coaching relationship for your happiness and sensual growth. And if you want to participate in my online survey for women and men about your sexual experiences, visit my website and look for the sexual survey. What are your sensual tips to celebrate your birthday? And be kind to yourself. Scurly hands are freaky feeling. <laughs> oh, that's disturbing. You should feel it from the inside. This is way less sensual than I thought it would be. <laughs> don't, don't pick nits off of me. <laughs> 